And now we turn to the search for the missing passenger plane, Flight 370. All hope now resting with the unmanned submarine slowly tracing the bottom of the ocean. And as families wait, today they released a list of questions they say Malaysian authorities have failed to answer. And ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, says some of those families are feeling vulnerable in another way. In the midst of their anguish and grief, Families of the missing passengers say they are being besieged by high-stakes versions of ambulance chasers, U.S. lawyers looking for clients. That's piling insult onto injury, and, uh, and that's just not acceptable. Among the U.S. lawyers who have already shown up in Malaysia are members of the Ribic law firm from Chicago, led by Monica Ribic Kelly, already discussing multi-million dollar lawsuits against Boeing, even before anyone knows what actually happened. We cannot wait for them to find the record. According to two grief counselors, the Ribic firm has been aggressively distributing business cards and brochures in Chinese to family members, something that would not be legal in the U.S. in order to protect vulnerable families at a difficult time. Cesar's son is a volunteer grief counselor in Beijing who told ABC's Gloria Riviera about the experience of one family member. He told me that a lawyer came to him and said, you can get a million dollars if this one, uh, the plane was confirmed as crashed and you have to let us do it. So sign here. Sign something so we right. can do it for you. The Ribic firm lists its address at this Chicago high-rise, but the offices, as first reported by the Chicago Tribune, appear to be empty, supposedly being remodeled. This Kelly, Brian Ross, and when we caught up with the lead lawyer, Monica Ribic Kelly, she denied that any of her lawyers solicit clients directly and said the dozens of families she signed up all asked her to represent them. Do you think at this point, before the plane is found, before any bodies are recovered, that you should be negotiating with these families, signing them up to give you a percentage of what they get? Is that right? It's up to the families. Do you think that is ethical and moral? It is ethical and moral. And you're it's proud of doing that? Of course. The families may well need skilled lawyers at some point, but veteran lawyers say what is happening now and often happens after big tragedies is a kind of gold rush by lawyers who know there could be millions of dollars in legal fees for whoever gets their first item. All right, Brian Ross investigates tonight. Thank you, Brian.